You're listening to Sephardt's Radio, episode number 161, and today is a quick Monday Motivation episode talking about the power of positive images. Welcome to Simple Roots Radio with Alexa Sherm. Alexa believes that simplicity in life is the key to achieving true and lasting health. And now your host, Alexa Sherm. Welcome back to this podcast. As always, my name's Alexa, and this is the place to get healthy, live happy, and find more joy. Today, we're talking about the power of positive images. Now, I know we talk all the time about positive words and positive affirmations and creating the positive mindset, but did you know that positive visualization is often more powerful than positive thinking? So today we're going to dive into that. I know it kind of just goes along with everything else we've been talking about. If you go back and listen to the episode all on the power of the story you tell yourself, then you kind of know the signs that we're talking about here. But today we're going to dive into a little bit of the science, and then I'm going to give you some how-to to to start creating positive images that are going to propel you forward in this journey. But before we get there, just to remind you, these short Monday motivation episodes are designed to give you encouragement, to help give you courage on this journey of health and wellness. I know it can be overwhelming and scary, and where do you even begin? A lot of times it's frustrating and downright maddening, but I hope that in this whole entire mindset series that you will start to understand that these small daily choices or these rhythms we start to include into our lives have massive power over the changes that we see. Now, I know all the time we hear that it's about what you do and about the process and the system and the weight loss and the counting and the calories and all the things, but that's not it at all. And I think if we stay there, if we stay stuck there, we won't see the lasting change that we really, really need in order to make this work for a lifetime. Plus to make it work with ease and to really actually desire it. That's my help with this. So if you want more information on today's show and the entire mindset series, make sure you head on over to the show notes at simpleroutswellness.com backslash 161. I lay out today's entire episode there. Plus, you can download that free guide that goes along with a summer mindset series called The Joy Experiment. So make sure you head on over there to get all that information. But today, like I said, we're talking about the power of imagery. Now, there is a lot of thought that images have more power over our minds than words. And I think that we all know this, right? Like the quote, a picture is worth a thousand words. We know that images have a lot of power over our mind. And we know this act of visualization is used by a lot of athletes and a lot of high power executives also use the power of visualization. And so my question is, is can we transition or translate what they are using visualization for, for winning games and succeeding at companies and all of these things into our everyday life of really creating this story inside of our mind with actual images? And is that more powerful than just words alone? We've talked a lot about creating a new story and rewriting that, but can we take what we know about the power of visualization and slap it on to this idea of creating a better story and have more results come from that. I really do believe so. Because what I believe is that before you are actually capable of doing something, you first need to picture yourself doing it. And I think a lot of times we think that we want these goals and we want to go there, but if we can't actually picture ourselves doing it, we probably will never do it. You know what I'm saying? Like if we can't picture ourselves eating a certain way, we're never going to do it. And I hear this all the time with a lot of different things. I mean, it doesn't just have to be about diet, but just in general, I could never do that. Or that's not realistic for me. Or my family would definitely not be on board with that. I definitely will never eat X, Y, and Z. You know, we say these things of no, of doubt, of I can't. And I think in our heads, we've already created an image or we can't even create an image of ourselves doing that. And so the idea is, is what if we really started to understand what we could visualize about ourselves and what that lifestyle looks like, would it then make it easier to actually do those things? As Albert Einstein states, imagination is more important than knowledge. And I think that's where we come back to. Like we have more knowledge than any other generation in the history of the world. In fact, we have access to more information on any given day than in an entire lifetime before 1993. I mean, let that soak in. I'll say it again. 
we have access to more information and there's more knowledge coming our way in one day than there was in an entire lifetime prior to 1993. I mean, crazy amounts of knowledge and wisdom that we have. And I always say it, like we all know the right answer. The harder part is, is actually living that out. And so my question is, is what would change if we actually created a vision of where we wanted to go? Now, this last week on the episode, Mike Foster talked a lot about this power of visualization and creating an icon for yourself, of knowing your former self and an icon for that. He called himself Skinny Mike. And then having an icon or a picture of Powerful Mike, which came out in the form of a lion. And he knew that every time he saw that picture or that visualization of the lion, what it meant for his life. It was the strong, powerful Mike. And I think that's really, really important and something really critical and so easy to overlook. And that's why it's your Monday motivation of what would change if you created a visualization, a a power icon for where you wanted to go. Would you then start living like that? Because we know that there's one idea to set all these goals and have all these things. But if you don't start living like you're already there, like you've already arrived, will you actually make those changes? So what I want you to do is I want you to go back to the episode with Mike Foster, which was the last episode, number 160. And I want you to re-listen to the part where he talks about his icons and creating those images. And then I want you to go and download the joy experiment because inside there is a full activity on creating your previous image and what that is, like where you are right now, and then creating that power image of where you want to go and slapping an icon on there. So I did this whole exercise and my icon that I picked for myself was an eagle. I kind of did it like Mike where I came up with three main points about an eagle that really made me feel like that is myself. But I want to take this another step further and and, and relate it back to the scope of health. And I want you to picture yourself, create an image in your head of your ideal self at a healthy weight. What does that look like? What is your healthy weight? What are you wearing? What activities are you doing? What foods are you eating? Like, how is your lifestyle that you're living in order to achieve that? Because I think we see ourselves here and we want to get to an ideal weight. But what we don't see or we can't picture ourselves doing is the exercise that it took to get there, the the mindful practices that it took to get there, the relational healing that it took to get there, the foods that it took to get there. And I want you to visualize that and I want you to start living as if you've already arrived. That's the idea with this is to live as your icon, as your power self, not as a weak former self, but as a power self. And I think in that, Like the more that we train our brain to see this positive image, that creates the better story, which changes the entire biology of ourselves. So if we constantly live in this weak former self, right, the place that we don't like to be that where we are, and we put our pressure on ourselves to be something that we're not yet, like that's a difference than just living as if you've already arrived. Like there's freedom and living that way, but there's pressure in the other way. And so the whole idea with this and retraining the brain is that we can actually train the brain to be more positive with positive images. With better visualization, our brain creates that confidence and that courage and that drive that we need, that discipline that we need to actually get there. And I'm telling you, this isn't just made up stuff, but this is actually brain chemistry. And what we know is if we change our brain chemistry, we can change the entire scope of our life. But the only way to change our brain chemistry is to change the stories and the visualizations that we tell ourselves. So your Monday motivation, your goal this week is to create the power image of yourself. What is that icon? What is that image of where you want to go and what things are you doing there? Take some time to download the Joy Experiment Guide go through it, fill it out, and then report back to me. Send me an email, alexa at simperitswellness.com. Respond to one of my emails that I send you and let me know how have you changed your visualization of yourself and what ways are you living as if you've already arrived. That's your goal for this week's Monday Motivation. Like I said, I'm the eagle, but I also envision myself as this healthy being, which means I am active, I'm a runner, I love healthy foods, I love nourishing my body, creating healthy rhythms of just being present and fulfilled. And so what I know is that now 
I live in a way where social media doesn't define me because I'm not constantly searching for something that I'm not. I'm not constantly comparing my story to someone else's. I wake up and run with new energy, not because I have to or I think it's what I need to do to get to my goal, but it's because it's who I am. It's a part of me. When you create this visualization of where you want to go, that becomes you. Not who you want to be, that, but that is you. And I think once you get to that place in that mind space of this is who I am, I am healthy, I am smart, I am lovable, then we can start to change and see our entire behavior and our action that we take in any given day and our relationships all form into a healthy rhythm that sustains us. So I know that was a big deal, but your homework is, again, to create the positive visualization of who you are. Leave and attach to that an icon that you can constantly remind yourself of that positive image. That's your homework for today. Send me an email. Let me know how this goes, what your new image is, what your icon is. I would love to hear that and work through this with you. Don't forget to head on over to the show notes to get more information at simbritswellness.com backslash 161. And stay tuned. Next week, we have another interview with Hannah Bruncher. I'm so pumped for this one. It dives into her deep story of depression and healing. And we just have so much in common. And I can't wait to share that with you. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, don't forget to head to the show notes. And I will be back here on Wednesday sharing my interview with Hannah. 